This is a tutorial on how to mute or have a set sound on the Mac for the startup sound. There are three ways to do this. You can either, when the computer is turning on, with an Apple keyboard, hold down the mute button. Then when the Apple logo comes up, you can let go and it will not make a noise. Or when you turn the computer off, you can turn the volume down all the way. And then when you restart, it won't have the sound, but the easiest way is to download Startup Sound, which is an application. Well, it's not an application. It's something that goes into settings, and then you can have a set sound, so it's like that every time you turn on the computer. You can even have it muted if you want. So there is a link on the screen right now, and I will put one in the description of the video. So you can hit Download. Once you go to this page, there's version 1.1 or version 1.2. Version 1.0 is, it requires a PowerPC processor with Mac OS X 10.2 through 10.5.8. Or, or you can download version 1.1 and this works with an Intel Mac or a PowerPC. And this is for version Mac OS X version 10.4 through 10.6.8 is what it says, but it works on Snow Leopard and I'm pretty sure it works on Mac. I've tried it before and it worked for me. So you can hit download. I think that they just haven't updated that number there. So you can double click on what you downloaded and it'll put this on your desktop and this will automatically open. You can double click on startup sound prefane.pkg, double click on that and it will open up installer. You can hit continue, 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 agree, and then hit install. And then you need to put in your password. It will install everything, it's pretty quick. Then you can hit close. It's all you need to do. The only thing, you just change it by opening up settings. Right here, this will be there now. Startup sound, it will be under other. You can click on that. And then turn on startup volume control. If you don't click that, then it's just how the startup sound will always be. If you select that, you can control what the startup sound will be. If you bring it all the way down, it will mute it or you can just click that. So it's really easy. And I like it set about right there. That's it. Oh, and if you want to get rid of this icon, you just click on it, drag to eject, and then let go. So thank you for watching.